everyone. This is Rakesh. Welcome to We Are Computer Education. This channel helps the students to learn the computer subjects in an easy way. To get more lecture videos, please encourage me by subscribing, liking, sharing, and commenting. Let us begin the today's class. Next, we will continue with relational operators. In the previous class, we have learned about arithmetic operators. Now, we will see relational operators. So, what is the relational operator? The name gives relational operators are also called as comparison operators because they you are used to compare the relationship between two or more variables or operands. So after comparison, it will give the result either true or false. Here true means 1, false means 0. So based on the given condition, it will give the result. And relational operators are used with logical operators. So after learning the logical operators, how they are used, we can learn now what are the relational operators we have that is greater than i think you, these symbols are you know no? in the mathematics we see these symbols but in the mathematics it is called as greater than but here it is called as e is greater than because i am asking question so if we write the expression like this so a greater than b but here in the programming language it is called as a is greater than b if it is greater it will give the result as true or if we give the result as false Same, similarly this is lesser than e is lesser than here greater than or equals to two conditions are checked first it will check the uh, given suppose if i write like this a greater than or equals to b now first it will check for a greater than b next it will check for a equals to b so based on that it will give the result next same way here also is less than or equals to first here it will check the lesser than next it will check the equals to next equal to equal to next not equals to so these are the relational operators let us see with example program okay so here let us see with example program first header files declaration next main function next variable declarations the next clear screen now here first expression that is a greater than b so substitute the values what is a value 10 greater than 20 10 is greater than 20 it is false or you will get the result as 0 next one c less than b what is c value 10 10 less than 20 10 is less than 20 it is true or you will get as 1 next b not equals to c what is b value 20 not equals to 10 yes 20 is not equals to 10 that is true or result you will get as 1 let us check the results so first one is 0 next one is 1 and b not equals to c is 1 so like this relational operators are executed i hope you understood about relational operators next the most important operators are logical operators they will test the logical operators are used to test the conditions okay if the condition is true then the result will be true your condition is false the result will be false only logical operators are also called as boolean operators because it gives the result either true or false and logical operators are used with relational operators 
Fancy logic or operators also called as boolean operators which are used to test the condition whether it is true or false. If the condition is true, it gives the result as true. If the condition is false, it gives the result as false. These operators are used with relational operators. So what are the logical? Three logical operators we have. They are logical and logical or logical not. So what logical and how the logical and will give the result should know the truth tables of each of them. So by checking the truth tables only we can say how the results are generated by each operator. So let us discuss one by one. So before that we will see the syntax of this. See rel relational operator expression 1, rel logical operator and relational operator 2. So here I have written C A greater than B logical and it is and A less than B. So to know the result of this first you should learn the truth tables of how the logical and will give the result, how the logical or will give the result, how the logical not will give the result. So then only you can easily know. Next we will see logical and. So here logical and gives the result as true when both conditions are true. So if two conditions are true then the result will be true. Then the truth table of this is see here when both conditions are true then the result will be true for logical operators. See here first one is true and the next one is also true. That's why result is true. And here first one is true and the next one is false. So the result is false because the logical operators gives the result to true only when both should be true and true. But here false true result will be false and both are false obviously result will be false only. Let us discuss some examples on this. So here I am taking here A value as 2 b value as 5. Now first expression I am taking a less than b and b greater than a. Now here substitute. Now what is a value 2? E is less than 5. Next what is b value? 5 greater than 2. First you check 2 is less than 5. Yes, it is true. 5 is greater than 2. Yes, of course it is true. But in between we have and. So and gives when both the results are true, then the result will be true or 1 it will display. Next we will see second example. So that is A equals to equals to B and b greater than a. Now you substitute what is a value? 2 equals to equals to 5. 2 is equals to equals to 5. No, it is false. b is greater than, sorry, here 5 is greater than 2. Yes, it is true. But in a logical operator, false and true, the result will be false or 0. Let us see one more example a not equals to b and b greater than a. Here what is a value that is 2 not equals to 5 yes it is true. Next here what is b value 5 is greater than 2 yes it is true. In and true and true gives true or one. So like this logical and will execute. I hope you understood. Next we will move to the logical or. So here in the logical or in the logical and any one any two conditions should be true then the result will be true. But in logical or only one condition should be true then the result you will get as true. See what are the logical operators. So here two conditions are true result of course it will be true because in logical or only one should be true 
then the result will be true it gives but in the logical and both should be true if both should be true then only the result will be true in logical and but in logical or any one should be true to get the result as true so here true and false that's why it is true and here false and true one is true that is true both are false then result will be false only let us see some examples on this also now here same i am taking a value as 2 next to b value as 5 and the first expression i am taking a is greater than b or b greater than a now what is a value 2 2 is greater than 5 that is false next what is b value 5 is greater than 2 that is true so in our property false true gives true as result or 1 next we'll see second one that is a greater than or equals to b or b less than a now what is a value 2 is greater here we need to check the two conditions see greater than or equals to it is so first 2 greater than 5 we need to check next 2 equals to 5 we need to check 2 is greater than 5 that is false 2 is equals to 5 this is also false mean between what we have or property or means any one should be true to get the result as true but here both false false gives false only next b less than what is b value 5 less than 2 here also false so this is false this is false in between r is there the result will be what is the result false or 0 so let us check third example a less than or equals to b or b not equals to a so what is a value 2 less than 5 2 equals to 5 what is 2 less than 5 the condition is true but 2 equals to 5 false here less than or equals to 1 should be true the, so the result will be true here we got true result what is b value 5 not equals to 2 that is true only so both the conditions are true in the r then the result will be true or 1 so like this logical or will execute i hope you understood about logical or also next we'll move to the logical not so it will negates the expression means if the condition is true result will be true if the condition is false result will be sorry if the condition is true result will be false if the condition is false result will be true like that see the logical operator which is used to test the condition it returns true if the condition is false it returns false when the condition is true see here if the condition is true result will be false if the condition is false result will be true so let us see one example on this here i am taking a value as 2 b value as 3 the condition is first expression not b less than a i am taking what is b value 3 3 is less 3 is less than 2 so 3 is less than 2 the condition is <coughs> false so not false the result will be true here see here what is b value 3 what is a value 2 this is less than symbol i'm asking 3 is less than 2 that is false 3 is not less than 2 3 is actually greater than 2 so the here condition but not means negates the expression condition as false result will be true or 1 next second example i'm taking not a greater than or equals to b now we need to check two conditions what is a value 2 greater than 3 next 2 equals to 3 
Now here what happens? 2 greater than 3 that is false. 2 equals to 3 false. False false. Here we get false. Not false means the result will be true or 1. So like this logical operators not will execute. I hope you understood logical or not also. So these are three logical operators and or not and means both the conditions should satisfy or means any one condition should satisfy not means negates the expression condition is true result is false condition is false result is true like that now we'll see the program on this logical operators now header files main function now x y z values i am taken declared 10 30 and 20 now i need to calculate p q and r so first we will calculate p value so what is p value that is x value substitute in that 10 e is greater than 30 next and y 30 not equals to 20 so 10 e is greater than 30 that is false 30 is not equals to that is true but here it is and both should be true then the what is the result here what is p value that is false or zero next we'll see q value what is z value 20 less than x value is 10 and next and what is uh, uh, sorry here it is or not and here it is or now why what is y that is 30 e is greater than what is x value 10 so 20 is less than 10 that is false next 30 is greater than that is true but here it is or property in or false true result will be true so q value equals to true or 1 then next this one r value so here not is there what is y value that is 30 equals to equals to 10 so 30 is equals to equals to 10 that is false so not false then the result will be true what is r value true or 1 so p value is 0 q value is 1 r value is also 1 let us see the output c p value 0 q value 1 r value equals to 1 so i hope you understood logical operators also and next class will see remaining operators so until then please encourage me by liking share subscribe and commenting let us meet in the next video until then thank you